hard and soft forks, what they are and how they happen. A fork is what you use to eat food. Oh wait, in this case, we are talking about blockchain. A fork is an update to the blockchain. Forks may happen because of changes in the protocol. In blockchains, updates can never be retroactive. If you have done any transaction in the past, it will be recorded in the blockchain forever. So, whenever there is a fork, all transactions are usually not impacted. Only new transactions are influenced. The old nodes will see the updated blocks as invalid. A fork may also happen because of disagreements in the community on how to take things forward. This is usually because there is a change in consensus, which requires all participants to upgrade their software to continue validating blockchain transactions or reject blocks produced by newer versions of the same software. An example was when Ethereum forked after the DAO incident, resulting in two blockchains, F and etc. Hard forks are backwards incompatible changes. They make previously valid blocks slash transactions invalid. If you do not upgrade your software before a certain block, you could be creating orphan coins, coins that don't exist, or even worse, losing coins. Hard forks usually require all nodes to upgrade to the latest version. Soft forks allow backwards compatible changes. So, all clients who updated will still validate transactions created by legacy nodes without knowing it. Soft forks are usually done when there is a need to reduce old transaction history or storage space used by nodes or changes needed for new functionality and that does not influence older blocks slash transactions. This is usually done by introducing tighter rules about block structure or transaction validity, creating a new version of the blockchain that only nodes running this new software can fully interact with. The most basic example is when all miners upgrade to ensure they are mining on top of the longest chain. If some miners have not updated their clients, they will see their blocks as invalid and continue building on shorter chains. Unfortunately, if such longer forks exist, then any transactions confirmed by those older clients would be lost because those transactions were considered invalid by the network-connected nodes that updated their software. Updates may not be straight forks. For example, the Ethereum network runs periodic hard forks to update its code with bug fixes and new features. These are planned updates that all nodes will release at the same time. When this happens, there is no new currency or chain. Some projects claim they need to do a hard fork now and then for various reasons updating protocol, adding new features, etc. This is often false or deprecated information by developers who want to make systems appear more complex than they are, like needing special consensus rules, consensus equals voting on changes in the blockchain. Be careful of anyone trying to make you verify old transactions if they made you transact on a broken chain. Doing this would submit your transaction to a network it is not integrated with and therefore has no chance of being validated. How often are forks created? The cryptocurrency industry has seen many hard forks in its short years, so many that even veteran developers get confused sometimes. There are hundreds if not thousands of blockchains out there, each forking off when there was some disagreement about how things should work or because a group of people felt a project did not go in the direction they thought was best. Sometimes forks are planned and other times, they occur because the developer team behind a project decides to take another path from what its community wants. Sometimes, forks are created because of human error certain developers may not be aware that their version of code is incompatible with the current one or want to fork off for personal reasons. Is there a way to prevent forks? Yes, but not without some form of centralization. Code repositories like GitHub are popular amongst many projects because of the ability to see who is doing what and how. This means that major updates can occur without the developer community noticing it or flagging it for review. This also allows developers the community to engage with people they may disagree with on certain issues, giving everyone a voice in the matter. Code repositories, however, are not decentralized. This means that any one group can dictate what happens with the project, be it good or bad. While this is not an issue for most projects, some believe in complete decentralized code development, even to the point where community members directly submit code to the blockchain versus having a central team direct things. How do I know if my client has updated? Most wallets offer checkpoints, which you should take advantage of when needed or set up yourself. These checkpoints will verify if your wallet version is compatible with other nodes on the network and warn you before mining new blocks. If validation fails, your node will keep working but won't fully interact with other nodes. This could interfere with how you transact new transactions and make your wallet appear like it is not receiving sending payments when in fact they are. Checkpoints also help prevent you from losing money if fork occurs. You are required to use them but doing so is beneficial to the network's health, especially if that network has value. If no checkpoints exist, then you're on your own when it comes to knowing what version of code your node runs. Do forks happen to every cryptocurrency? No. 
Forks rarely occur in truly decentralized currencies, because no leader can decide to fork off, and it will always be contentious, which means miners slash nodes won't agree on how things should work. Therefore, forks only happen when an important person or people behind a project decides that they want to go in a different direction than their community wants. This could mean that miners, nodes, and developers do not get along with each other, or there are major disagreements about where development resources should be focused for the currency to achieve its goal. Sometimes this occurs simply because of ego clashes between key figures. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.